This is the happiest time in the lives of Brazilians. Can we go to the throne? <laughs> Away from where all the tourists are right now. They're in Leblon, they're in Copacabana, they're in Panama, but we are in Caracay with the locals. Guys, an hour and a half away. They don't speak English here. You have to fight to your translator or something. Otherwise, you just get left behind. You know, there's no tourists out here. Look at that. And I'm here at Bye Bye Mo, man. What's up? What's up? Live a little, man. Live a little. Look at that. Happy people. Hey. You know? Look at the happy people. Hey. Happiness is not about money. We die, we leave everything behind. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. at this location here this is mostly Brazilians there's no gringos here there's no gringos here what's the name of the location again uh, Marica Marica I keep, Marica I keep messing it up and I'm about to have my breakfast and lunch and dinner at the same time right here hey in the form of hot dogs <laughs> man that's my first meal today and man it's beautiful beautiful people out here man it's a really nice vibe so I'm gonna be basically walking around. I may have to change the music on this. In case they play this audio and it's copyrighted, I may have to change the music completely. Hopefully I pick a song you guys like. <laughs> so as we're walking around, trying to figure out where this actual parade is gonna take place, we found this amazing recreational park here. You know? Wow. Away from all the tourists, away from Copacabana. You're looking at maybe an hour and a half away from Copacabana. Among the locals. That's what you got here. We were lost and intrigued, but kept walking around, people watching, and enjoying the scenery. We eventually found the happy corner with live music where all the locals were jamming. Everywhere you look, there's movement and joy. As the carnival spirit ignites a sense of unity and community among all who participate.
It's a time when worries are forgotten, and the only thing that matters is being present in the moment, sharing in the euphoria of the celebration. As we were looking for a friend, we decided to exit the crowd, and that was both an exhilarating and challenging experience. I need to mention that a similar experience in Rio de Janeiro will cost several hundreds of dollars. But here in America, we were up close and personal to the singer and the locals and enjoy all the festivities for free. They just see you and like, who's scared? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a neighborhood, bro. Yeah, yeah they're on a smaller scale, bro. On a smaller scale. They ain't trying to hurt nobody. Yes. And after a little while, we're finally able to locate our good friend, Renato Lopez. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, we did a very good interview last year, and she told us all the secrets about dating Brazilian women. So tell me, what's your experience with African American men in general? I'm just get to one point I can believe, I can trust. I don't trust men anymore because they're disappointed. I have before. Wow. You know, I need to go into psychologist. Make sure you check out that video in the description. So we are here in her neighborhood. neighborhood. And how do you say your neighborhood again? Is uh, Cara? Marika. 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 Marika, about an hour and a half away from uh, downtown Copacabana. So that's where we are. Just giving you the vibes of the beautiful area here. Woo! Now we go to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy, man. You know, this is I'm happy time. because you guys here. Yeah, yeah man. I'm happy to be here. There are some fun activities around this part of town, and one of them includes riding a bus around while being escorted by some special characters. Check it out. So we're about to hop on this bus and go around. Yeah. And apparently you get to see some scary stuff, right? Yeah. Have you ever been on a thing, something like this before? Uh, no, I haven't. In Colombia, they have like kind of similar party buses like this that take you to like a destination or whatever. But um, I guess they're gonna go down a couple of routes or streets where people are already staged up to perform and do things like that. Yeah. Based on what she said, she told me. Yeah. I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm just gonna get on the bus. That's right. Ah, Sabrina está doida para ir também. I'm leaving it up to her to explain everything that goes on. Alright. Just follow, follow her. And then go Alright. Let's go. So let's get on the bus. We need to be at least 15 persons. No problem. We give you the money now? I already pay. After you already pay, we pay you back. We're going to give you the money. We're not going to let Renata pay for everything, man. We're not going to let her. She bought us drink. You know, she, we're not here trying to take advantage of people, man. We're not cheap diamonds. All right, so Ivan's grabbing our tickets right now. Right there, I got my ticket, man. All aboard. Copacabana in those clubs. We are here with the locals, man. Yes. Chilling with the locals. Yep. Mario, hey, what's going on? Yo, Mario. Yo, Hey, guys, Marius, everybody knows. Mario, I am saying. What? That's Popham. Popham. And you're not saying, how it's called him. It looks like. Raggedy Ann to me, that's what I think. But I could be wrong. Ivan and you. Make sure I'm you guys like uh, comment if you know in the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Right, you
Boys trying to live, man. Hey, bro, there's only one motor transportation. That's it. We on it right now. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Get on the train or get left behind. That's right. That's it. We 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 going this way. Which way are y'all going? That's right. We're not in the back of the bus no more, man. Yeah, we're in the front. We're in the front, we're man. In the front. Life in Brazil, yeah. baby. We try. You know? We don't just stay in the DMV. We don't even know what the Beltway is. We're in Brazil, baby. <laughs> Just chilling, man, having a good time. Drinking some Caipirinas, man. Life is so much better when you're drinking Caipirinas. Real talk.
the bus ride being over, it was time to move to the second part of our evening. And just like that, man, we are out of the bus. These are the costumes, man. This is it. Hey. <laughs> Because that ticket actually gives you access to this park. This is the next thing. This is the happiest time in the lives of Brazilians. I'm actually curious between Christmas and Carnival. I'm willing to bet they will tell you Carnival season is the happiest season in the year. Alright, so I'm okay. here with Granada. We got free tickets to okay. choose one place in the Carnival where you go. Oh. So I choose for the guys. Then it's some like, uh, let's say, beat, something like, they need to do it, they don't have choice. So let's go, <laughs> follow me! Alright, let's go! <laughs> So which one are we doing? Check. This one. It's a slide. And you, and you, you are allowed to do it oh. two times. It's funny what this is. You get two runs for, for the price for the ticket. They, they must go two times uh -huh. if they want it. Okay. The experience. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ivan and Mo, they going, they accepted. Oh my God. This is the part where we had to let our inner child come out. And first on the slide was Backpack Mo. It was easy. I gotta go one more time, you know, just to make sure I did it right. I know, I yeah. wait for you guys okay. down there. Let's do this again, let's do this again. Why? It's good? It's good, I love you it. Enjoy? I feel, you like, feel a like a little like kid. kid. I feel like oh, a little baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy. What, what's the next challenge? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on down, baby. Yeah. some caparinas <laughs> and a good time. <laughs> Renata, why doesn't she want to do it? Is she shy? No, she's really afraid. Oh, she's afraid of heights, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Solo my own? One other. Solo un vez. Un vez. Okay, dos veces. No, no, no. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you can't even get me to do this thing one time. That's funny. Enjoy. That's funny.
again. <laughs> how many more times? You going again? I had two times. You guys did how many? Twice. Twice also? Yeah. yeah. So we're good. All right. Good. Really good. We're trying to get Caparinas, but we're going to slow things down with some Brahma. And Brahma is a local Brazilian beer. Yeah. It's so good. So, Brahma, if you Thank want you. to sponsor us, then Try. go ahead and do it. Try. See, it's cold. Ice cold, man. Wow, this is right? good beer. Right. Yeah, and it's crisp. <laughs> and it's summer, and it's heat, and it's yeah. hot. That's what it. If you guys want Caipirinha, that's the. Only one. You know what? That's I'm gonna change place. things up and yeah. do a cold yeah. Brahma. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with Brahma. I know, Brahma. because it's yeah. really yeah. cold. Yes. Not much today. Brahma, 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 right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Brahma, Brahma it is. Yeah. Brahma wins today. Hey, I don't mind the sponsorship, Brahma. Let's yeah, go. Right, yeah, go. Brahma, 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 Brahma. One thing I like, especially when you come in South America, people do share these little small mini cups when they get like a like one of the large beers and stuff like that. And that's different back from being home because everything is so individualized. Like, yes. I, I got my own beer. Like, people will get like a a 40 ounce beer and they'll get these small mini cups which you see right here yeah. and stretch it out and just you know you can go through several of these and not get, right. you know, twist it this is a, oh man thank you get the double cup man thank you so okay. much oh, oh. Oh. all right put it in the bottom okay all right just in case thank you buddy. okay yes all right. i'm gonna drink it before it goes down so it, it really don't matter you know i mean we don't gotta a little wayne double cup it you know that's right so, so. oh you're so wait for everybody to get it and then we'll do a cheers. Oh. I got now everybody. Right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hey, soldier. My Brazilian family. Soldier. Cheers to you watching. We got much more coming, man. This is kind of all in Brazil. There's a lot more coming. We're just having a good time. Man, bro, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Yeah. You that cold Brahma is hitting the spot, Yeah, bro. right? Uh-huh. I was all about Caprina, so I think I'm about to switch up. Yeah. Not to mention this guy right here. Uh-huh. I'ma tell you something I'm not, I'm not supposed to tell you. Wait, wait, wait. Since we've been here, right. he already broke three glasses of Caprina. Oh right. He's at three. No, 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 no. He has no, broken no, 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 three no, no. No, no. in various bars. No. And then he doesn't remember in the morning. No, no. See, if I had a bald head, you know what I'm saying, and some sunglasses, that might be him. So they have a lot of variety here. Boom right here. It's real. Some type of uh, sausage. More. Yes. Me and him. You want more? Let's get more. One more, more we brahma. Have, we have. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's very cheap. It's 30, 32 reals. Uh huh. Yeah, for brahmas. 32 reals. Okay. Yeah. Guys. I heard if you drink enough brahmas, you start speaking Portuguese. Like, like just magically, it just starts getting so good. good. What's that? Is that why I'm still getting so That's good? Exactly what right. It must. I know, it was something. Yeah. One thing about being in a country, sometimes when you're here, it forces you to to, to learn. You know? Yeah. Because when you're back home, you're like, hey, okay, I'm so casual about it. That's right. But when you're here, it's a survival thing. You it know is. what I mean? It, getting a taxi, communicating with somebody who doesn't know anything, to at least attempt, make a try. You know? And I think that with any language, if I was here five, six months, I think I'll be fluent, you know? I agree. All right, and, yeah. and, and here, when you're in Brazil, I gotta mention to you guys, most people think come down here and they're like, oh, if I speak Spanish, they'll understand what I'm saying. It's not like that here, you know? They're so very prideful in the language they speak, the things like that. So it, it's better to at least try to learn a couple of words, at least please, thank you, um, the basic mannerisms as well. So don't just come down here and just expect that everyone's gonna speak English with you. We're fortunate that we, we met her and that, that she sp uh, speaks English, but very few people do. Um, so make an attempt to at least learn a couple of words. Please, thank you, and at least where the bathroom is, something like that that would help you out of a gym. So we had a good time walking around this park, did the little slide. <laughs> I, mean, I really feel like a little kid here. We're about to do these cars, but we had these tickets and I thought, man, we adults, we don't need to do the cars. There's a tremendous amount of children here. There's a lot of kids. So let's go ahead and give those tickets to kids who actually need it and want to get on these rides. Because really, I mean, you know, these are families here, you know, enjoying themselves. You know? <laughs> we gave the tickets away to some kids. So now the next event is the actual parade here. 
And this is again, this is the area where the gringos don't come. This is mostly locals out here. So we're heading out there now and we are going to uh, bring you guys some views so you can have a good idea of what it's like on this part of town. This is the part that nobody shows you. You know? Yeah. If this is the last image you see, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Nightmares! <laughs> Last year, for about $300, this was my view. And this year, completely free, I was much closer and I can enjoy the festivities like a local. Guys, every year people come to Rio to watch the carnival and they spend a tremendous amount of money to go to a samba dome. I am here in Maracay. I'm still in Rio, but about an hour and a half. And this video is to show you guys how you can do these activities on the low. So I'm here with the locals sitting down on these bleachers. You know? Right there. Hey. <laughs> you know? Read the locals and I'm gonna have that local experience and enjoy the archer parade. And guess how much it cost me? Zero. Real. Zero dollars.
Lakers. I'm just gonna be chilling here. <laughs> These guys are so happy, you know. So America, that's what it's about, man. That's just the local experience. Just I'm here to show you guys how you can enjoy the carnival parade on the low. If you're like me, you're trying to save some money. Why go spend so much money to watch this stuff? What you can do with the locals. So enjoy the video, guys. Save some money and come to Maraca. Save your money, man. That's right. That's exactly money, right. Woo. <laughs> so a girl from this area, right? Yeah, Marika. Marika, right? What do you What do you call her? Like, what do you say to her? Marika Insi. Marika Insi, right? Is that for girls or girls and boys? Girls and boys, boys people who live in America, right. that's America. Right. Like, how do you show pride and say, like, I'm from this? Yeah, place. they are very country people. Okay. They don't have malicious, you know, they are very kind people. And most our people, they don't know about uh, foreigners or tourist cultures. But we are very kind. It's a really nice city to live, to stay, you know. And, uh, Everybody who has come, enjoy. Yeah, I mean, we're, I think we're the perfect example of it. We've never been here before, right? We've been to Brazil many times. I've been to Brazil seven. This guy's been to Brazil yeah, when, 25 times. You what know? do you think when you come to Marica after wait for me one hour and a half? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, first, what do you I'm, think I'm, I'm, about listen, it? Listen, 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 in the beginning, I was like, okay, what's going on? I don't know. Um, but we were pissed off yes. because they can't come up time. She yes. gave us the time, and the time she gave us, it was actually her getting in the shower. And we had to wait over an hour. Hey, bro, but that's South America. It's not shower. Okay. It's a house. It's shower. It's kids. It's everything. <laughs> you got you to you you gotta put on the makeup. You got to put on like the whole setup. That's right. Everything's got to go. And little look at the bit, outfit, too. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? A little bit makeup. Right. <laughs> not much. Okay. Just a little but, bit. But it's the outfit. It's the hat. It's this, it's that, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's you know? <laughs> oh, you know, it's, it's all of that, you know? She didn't just come out the house in her regular clothes. That's right, that's right. You know? So we walked, around, we walked around for a little while. Yeah. But this is nice, it's a good experience. Yeah, good yes. experience. But Marika City, I'm really glad. I'm get surprised okay. that you guys come to here and get know about Marika, the place where I live, it's real safe. You guys just can pull out your cameras, your phone, yeah. and leave the car open, not no matter what. You don't have to worry about anybody touch. No, You safe. know, it's so, people here, they are so innocent. They don't care about rope and nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Or you can spend eight hundred dollars and go sit in the Samba Dome. You know what I mean? And, and, and do that. Now that's the thing. You know, it's cool. You know, I, I've been out there. I, you know, but this is not about that. This is about being with the locals this year, doing the local experience, man. That's what we're doing right here. But you gotta know somebody, bro. You, you gotta know somebody. Man. Gringos, gringos just don't come out here like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come. yeah. yeah. And listen, bro. We we travel to Brazil a lot, but I mean, I've only got to see her a couple times. So you, I can't come to Brazil without seeing her. You know that's I mean? right. That's right. You have to come to see her at least one day, one two time. days, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I don't care how far it is. I'm gonna come see her. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah. So. And I, when the guys they come, I can't believe it. All right. All right. You know, in the beginning, I just say, okay, let's go to Marika, and I not, I not bad. I don't think they you come. You didn't think we'll come out here? No. You're right. We say yeah. we're going to be there, we're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Really yes. surprise right. me. Of course, yeah. man. Because the it's gringos, the gringos are being real. You know, the we gringos are doing real right now. Yes. Yeah. All right.
So guys, we're leaving. I want to say thank you to Renata for all your help on this. This was a unique experience. So if you want to emulate this and do carnival when it's cheap on the low, this is the way you do it, guys. Marika area. Marika, all right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Oh, look at Mo. Look at Mo. He just... <laughs> Yeah, I'm